you know, I'm getting a lot of pushback uh, from the video where I stated that women should be more concerned with a man and how he provides for the family spiritually. I want to put emphasis on the word provide since that's what women are constantly, constantly focusing on. Provide, provide, provide. But what does Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 say? Get your Bible and then tell me what does it say? Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, Put first the kingdom. Put first the kingdom of God. And then all other things will be added to you. So that's what a woman should mainly focus on. And that should be the number one deal breaker in any relationship, especially when you're starting out getting to know each other and you're dating. If this man does not put first the kingdom of God and putting first the kingdom of God means he's interested in being a provider a provider for his family spiritually first. This is a man who loves Jesus Christ more than he love himself, more than he'll ever love you and more than he'll ever love anything. If you can find a man who puts first the kingdom, a provider spiritually, which is what you need to focus on, and stop constantly talking about money, 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 material, material. That's what he got to provide. Oh, I'm not doing no 50-50. Oh, I'm not putting off no money because I'm not trying to be a roommate. Do you know how stupid you sound? When you come off with that analogy, I'm not trying to be a roommate. With roommates, I've had several roommates, honey. Amazing roommates. You don't have sex with roommates. Let's get that clear. And I find it very annoying when women use that dumb analogy. We're not talking about a roommate, sweetheart. We're talking about a woman is supposed to be a man's partner, a helpmate. When you are his partner, that is being a helpmate. Anytime a man don't have to do everything by himself, that is a partner, a helpmate. When it comes to the cooking you should take turns with that. You see, that's the number one reason why women are complaining about having to go in their pocket and be an adult. You're not his daughter. He shouldn't have to take care of you monetarily because you're not a child. And we don't live back in the 1940s and the 30s and the 50s where women couldn't get decent paying jobs. They can. Women have careers now. And, and this is how foolish a lot of these women are. They're so foolish. They don't even see what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm trying to get women to protect themselves. And when you, and then this one woman, she made a comment. I did that in the past. And all he did was mistreat me and dog me and treated me badly. I'll never do that again. Well, you was a damn fool for letting the clown treat you badly dog you, abuse you, and you stayed. And the only reason why she's not with him, from what I further read, he left her. Now, when this man is dogging you and abusing you, why, did, why was it that he was the one that had to leave you and you didn't leave him? So who's the real jackass? Him or you? These women go around creating these monsters by putting up with their foolish behavior, their bad behavior, their monstrous, monstrous behavior, and then they get upset. I'm looking at this show. It's on BET Plus, and it really makes black women look so bad. It's called, um, it's called In Love and Toxic Blue Therapy. So if you have BET Plus, Check that out. And it makes black women look so difficult to be with. I mean, the things that they argue and fuss about and, and, and complain about, it's just ridiculous. Now, I know Ebony women have been through so much. Yes, we, we all have. Women, period. 
but ebony women even more so. But the reason why I don't pity that or, or feel sorry for them because they don't have to stay in these abusive relationships. They're choosing to. Like I said, stop creating monsters and then complain about it. And you have so many wom women. Let me tell you what I also find very, very troubling. Very troubling. As long as a man is paying all the bills, right? Taking her shopping, all the material things she can ask for. These women, and I'm talking about all women, not all women, because a lot of women like me, I I'm not going for none of that nonsense. But you have so many women, they don't care if the man is on God and Jesus team. They don't care if he's on Satan, the devil's team. They don't care. As long as he's coming out of pocket with that money. And also, I'm, I looked at another video where this dude is coming down very hard on another dude, which he should have, because it's always good when a man check other men. But he's trying to brag about how, and I, I can see straight through this guy's manipulation, what he's trying to do is get women to start staying at home, cook and clean and take care of their children. And he's trying to make it look like he's being so gallant and he's being so altruistic. Uh-uh, I can see, I'm gonna post that video and I'm, I'm gonna speak on it step by step and I'm gonna show you how crafty Satan the devil is. This man, a lot of the things he say is on point and it's correct. But then there's other things that he's saying that's trying to get women to come back into the houses and depend on me financially. You don't need to have no money, baby. I'll take care of you. Yeah, come on, honey. I'll take care of the children. You just stay home and raise our children, honey. That is the biggest red flag you have ever seen. And anytime you find a man who says he's okay with a woman not having her own Red flag, red light, stop, halt, don't walk, sweetheart, run. That is a man who wants to dominate, control, and abuse you. He don't want you to have a way out. And we live in 2024, let's just say because we what? It's just a matter of months. 2024, let me tell you what you're going to see a lot of. You're going to see a lot of these men trapping women all over the world. Trap, got you, trap, trap. And then they're going to pull that polyamory on you. They're going to get you nice and comfortable where you're depending on him. And he sees that you're comfortable. Uh-huh. I can see it coming. And then he's going to talk about how he wants more than one woman. He's going to bring some other woman into the picture. Watch how, mark my word, mark my words. That's the latest thing for 2024. So ladies, please. Don't fall into this trap of, I don't want to pay my th anything. If you don't pay, like, look, check this out. If, even if I was, I don't want no, no relationship. As you know, I don't because I already know what's up. It's so much easier being single. But if you don't want to do 50-50, then at least do 70-30. Let him pay 70% of the rent and, and the bills and you pay at least 30%. For example, if your rent is $1,200, then you pay $360, and he'll pay the rest. That's $70.30, you know, $70.30. Then do it like that, but at least pay something. If your utility bill is, let's say, like mine's is $200, and you pay 30%, then you pay at least $60 out of the $200. But please... Pay something. And that's not being a roommate. That's being a partner. You know? With you there, he has an activity buddy. He has somebody who has his back that he could trust. He has somebody who could look out for him while he's looking out for you. He has somebody that he could travel with, have fun and laughs with. But when it comes to all of you being a house, domestic house slave and all of this, I'm not paying, whatever, no. Your main concern, again, is put first the kingdom. Matthew 6, and all Jesus Christ promises, all other things will be added to you. So if he's not a spiritual provider, deal breaker.